sexy beasts are the Redbird subway trains. The Redbirds were 1,110 cars made up of the following units. R26s R28s R29s R33 main lines R33 world fairs R36 main lines and finally R36 world fairs R26s and R28s were made by American Car and Foundry and were numbered 7750-7859 and 7850-7959. While all other Redbirds between the R29s and R36s were made by St. Louis Car Company and were numbered 8570-8805, 8806-9305, 9306-9345, 9526-9345, and 9558-9769. These cars were built between 1959 and 1964. Before the 1980s, many of these cars were painted in various colors, which included blue, light green, silver with a blue stripe, and of course, red. Of course, there were many other schemes, but I can't go over all of them. So anyways, we also have the R12s, R14s, R15s, R17s, R21s, and the R22s, built in 1949 to 1950, as well as 1955 to 1958. As you could tell, these cars act like the Redbirds. In fact, the R12s to 36s are all known as the RT Smith Fleet. Beginning in the late 1970s, the subway became shit, and then every train had graffiti on it. This became the reason why the Redbirds were introduced beginning in the mid-1980s. While the R12s to R22s were retired due to age and other issues, the R26s to 36s were rebuilt and repainted into a deep red color known as Gun Red in honor of David L. Gunn. After that, go for the artists stop fucking up transit, and then they never touch another subway car ever again. The SME car saw service on pretty much every subway line on the RIT. Yes, even the 8 train on the RIT 3rd Avenue Elevated had these cars at one point. When the R62s and R62As started to arrive, and the Redbirds started to come back to service, these trains were mainly on the 2, 5, and the 7 lines. There were also some that were better on the 4, as well as the 6 train. Although maybe some did appear on the 1 and 3 at one point. You may remember me saying that the R33s and R36s had mainline and welfare cars. Well, this is because the 7 train is a special buck and had to operate with 11 cars because of its history back then. And of course, the main lines were for the main lines, which are the numbers 1 to 6. Now the name World Fair was a reference to the fact that the 7 train was one of the closest line to operate to, you guessed it, the 1964 New York's World Fair. Because Redbirds were different models, some had different propulsions and traction systems. non World Fair cars used the General Electric 17KG192 traction. While all World Fair cars and R36 main cars used the Westinghouse XCA248 traction. You can go check YouTube or even the description to see what they sound like. These trains not only show sexiness, but also evolution of the subway as well. I remember riding these trains all the time until 23, which I was 5 at that time. Anyways, because of the scheme introduced in the 80s, these trains became an instant favorite in the transit community. As a Bronx rider, I would be excited when I see them on the 2 and 5 lines. And I occasionally shat my pants when I saw them on the 4 and 6. And yeah, I rode them on the 7 a few times, but ultimately, the 2, 4, 5, and 6 helped me become the rail fan I am today. Of course, all these trains retired from service in 2003, like I mentioned, and were replaced by R142s, 
and the R142A NTT or new technology train cars. Shortly after, 1,292 cars were sunk at sea to help promote marine life, serve as a barrier, and just recreational scuba diving. While the remaining 108 cars were either converted into work cars or preserved for the museum fleet. 9075 is currently on display at Queensboro Hall in Kew Gardens. 7926 and 7927 are preserved at the Illinois Railway System in Union. And a fucking course, we all know about this shit. The train of many colors, made up of R33s and R36s, painted in the many paint schemes they had back then, as well as one R12, R15, and R17 from way back. These cars would include 5760, 6239, 6609, 9010, 9201, 9202, 9203, 9206, you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more MTA content.